Introduction to MS Word 2010 MS Word is a word processing software which comes as a part of Microsoft Office 2010 package. It is used to create text documents such as letters, project reports, catalogs, etc. It has numerous tools such as grammar, spell check, and thesaurus to make the document accurate. Various font styles to make the document appealing and other graphics to make it more expressive and attractive. Opening MS Word 2010 We can open MS Word by doing these steps. Step 1. Click on Start Step 2. Select Microsoft Office folder Step 3. Click on Microsoft Word 2010 MS Word window opens which looks like this File tab Quick access toolbar Title bar Tabs Ribbon Insertion point Document area Components of Microsoft Word 2010 window Title bar The topmost part of MS Word window is the title bar. Here, you will see the title or the file name of the document. A new document bears default name as document 1. Quick access toolbar To the left of the title in the title bar, you will see few buttons. This is quick access toolbar. It contains commands that you use often. You can also add or remove commands from here. Minimize, maximize and close buttons. To the right of the title bar, you will see these three buttons. They are used to adjust the size of the window or to close it. File tab File tab is the first tab among the row of tabs. It is blue in color. We use this tab to open, save, print and send a file. Tabs There are more tabs next to file tab. These are Home, Insert, Page Layout, References, Mailings, Review, View and Acrobat. They help us to make our document accurate, striking and interesting. Ribbon The thick band below the tabs containing various different buttons is the ribbon. It contains commands pertaining to the active tab. Groups Each tab is further divided into various groups. Related commands are assembled together in small groups. This makes it easier to look for a particular command. Document area The blank white area below the ribbon is the document area. It is like a blank sheet of paper. You will see a blinking line on its top left side this is the cursor. We can type text here. Create a new document. We can create a new document in three simple steps. Open a new document. Type in it and save document. Open a new document in MS Word. You can open a new document in MS Word by doing these steps. Step 1. Click on File tab. 
Step 2. Click on New. Step 3. Click on Blank Document. Step 4. Click on Create. Keyboard shortcut for opening a new document is Ctrl plus N. Typing in MS Word. A new document is blank. We can type in it to create our own document by doing these steps. Step 1. Click on the vertical blinking line in the document area. This is the cursor. Step 2. Type here with the help of the keyboard. Saving a document. After you finish typing in your document, you must save it so that you can open, see and can edit it later. When you save a document, it is saved in the hard drive of your computer. You can save your documents by doing these steps. Step 1. Click on File tab. Step 2. Click on Save As. Save As dialog box opens. Step 3. Give a file name in the file name text box. Step 5. Click on Save button. Keyboard shortcut for saving a document is Ctrl plus S. Closing a document. You can continue working on the saved document or you can choose to close it by using these steps. Step 1. Click on File tab. Step 2. Click on Close. The current document will close. Open a saved document. A saved document can be opened at any time. You can open a saved document by using these steps. Step 1. Click on File tab. Step 2. Click on Open option. Open dialog box appears. Step 3. Select the file name from the document library. Step 4. Click Open button. Selected file will open. Keyboard shortcut for opening a saved document is Ctrl plus O. Printing a document. You can take a printout of your document on the paper with the help of a printer. Printout on a paper is known as the hard copy. A hard copy can be sent as a letter or can be filled for our records you can take a print out of your document by doing these steps step 1 click on file tab step 2 click on print option print dialog box will appear step 3 to change the properties of a printer Select the Printer Properties option under the printer name. Step 4. Finally, click on the Print button.